Yo, what is going on everybody? It is your boy Luke Vaughn. I am back with another video. I'm back with another vlog. First, I want to show you... Yeah, your boy got a new gaming chair. All right, we got a respawn gaming chair. I'm starting to game. I'm starting to stream. If you guys want to follow me on Twitch and watch me stream, my Twitch link is in the description. You know, you go follow me there. You can go watch me there. I'm going to be streaming mainly FIFA. Mainly FIFA, so you know, don't expect like Fortnite or anything like that. I'm honestly horrible at Fortnite, so don't expect that. We're going hard at FIFA. But from the title of this video, I'm obviously going to be showing you guys my entire Louis Vuitton collection, okay? I'm not some Louis Vuitton Don, okay? I wish I was. I have a few really nice pieces from Louis Vuitton. Um, nothing special, no clothing items. Just want to say that right now, just a few accessories. Honestly, I got three belts and I have a Louis Vuitton coin pouch. So let's get right into this video. All right, so let's start this video off with the coin pouch, okay? I have this uh, coin pouch matching, kind of matching with one of the belts that I have. That's the reason I got it. I got this at the New York Louis Vuitton, I think in 5th Ave, on 5th Ave. So this is the little pouch, Ooh, little upside down. Let me show you guys, let me show you guys, let me show you guys. Louis Vuitton, nice little, uh, nice little Louis box. Cute little box. <laughs> but, um... Here we go, nice and simple. I really don't wear this, honestly. These things are kind of a waste of money. I really wanted it at the time I, I was in high school, so I do have this. This is the Louis Vuitton coin pouch. It, it's a nice accessory, I guess, if you're gonna wear it. Uh, it's a little expensive if you're not gonna wear it like I don't. I might end up selling this maybe on StockX or something like that. Uh, we'll see how that goes. We'll see how the market plays out with this coronavirus. Hope you guys are all staying safe. Hope everybody's staying healthy. You know, crazy times, crazy times, but. It is what it is. I guess it is what it is. You got to live with it. Little disclaimer. I just want to say I was in high school when I bought all these belts, you know. I would probably not buy these belts right now. You know, they are very expensive. Very, 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 very expensive. They're basically $500 at the minimum. You know, the belts that I have are 490 something each. So, you know, they're really expensive belts. I really wanted them. I worked at a, a local grocery store and I spent a lot of money on these belts. So um, any advice, you know, think really hard. Are you going to wear them a lot? I really don't wear them as much as they cost. I would really think twice about, you know, buying these belts if you guys have not yet bought a Louis Vuitton belt or maybe thinking about it. Just a little advice, little advice. So this is, uh, this is the first Louis Vuitton belt that I got. This is pretty fire. We got the brown, brown Damier, yipper. Yuppity do. I got this at the Atlantic City, baby. The Atlantic City Louis Vuitton. Uh, here, I'll show you guys something that's actually kind of funny. So, if you see here, it says Louis Vuitton. Ah, uh, you're no way you're going to be able to say it. Oh, okay. You see it right there? Right there? It says uh, made in France. It says Louis Vuitton made in France. It says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. Most of the belts say made in Spain. And I actually like asked the lady at Louis Vuitton. I was like, yo, don't most of the belts say made in Spain? She said, yeah, but they also are made at France. So I was like, if you guys, you know, are buying a used belt, take that into consideration. Because I remember looking at used Louis Vuitton belts. And I was like, dude, they got to be made in Spain. But this one actually, you know, obviously says made in France, which is funny. But this is my first Louis Vuitton belt that I ever got. You know the box is pretty cool. I I left this little ribbon on. You gotta show some appreciation to the uh to the little things that these uh designer companies like to like to treat us with. I guess if you're old enough to sip champagne, you might as well do that. Your boy's not uh, 21 yet, but I ain't worried about. It. This belt is. Let's see if this is the belt I want. All right, I, I'm okay with this one. This one I really wanted this belt. This belt was actually hard to find when I first wanted it, and then they started, you know, going overdrive and started recreating these belts. This belt, the white Damier, is absolutely fire. Can't go wrong with it. I only wore this belt a few times. I'm very scared. Um, the first belt that I showed you is made of, I think it's like elephant print leather or something like that. Some kind of elephant leather that they try to tell you it's made out of. And it's a lot firmer. This is very soft. This is, you know, very flimsy for a freaking $500 belt. You know, your boy <clears throat> got some got some complaints with this damn leather. I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. That is another thing to take into consideration. If I ever buy another Louis Vuitton belt, it would be from the material that I just showed you from the first belt. It would not be this material. This material, in my opinion, eventually will pull these holes out. I have not yet to do this because I'm honestly scared to wear it. 
and uh, pull these holes out. So this is my this is my white belt. I'm being honest with you guys. I'm giving you guys a, an honest review. Like I said, I haven't really wore this in a while. You know, guys, if you want to follow me on Instagram, every once in a while I try to post a nice little fire pic. You know, I'm going to try to be posting more content on my Instagram with my whole YouTube, you know, getting that stuff going. So if you want to follow me there, I'd appreciate that. Like I said, I really like the boxes. The boxes are... Boxes are beautiful, high quality boxes. Nice little Supreme box or Supreme, nice little Louis Vuitton boxes. If you guys want to check out my Supreme videos, go check out my Supreme videos. I'm getting freaking uh, confused with the Supreme unbox, guys. This is my last Louis Vuitton belt. This is probably my favorite. I thought, thought, thought that the white belt was really gonna be my favorite when I first bought it, but uh, eventually, this was this was I think the last belt that I have ever bought in. This is the Louis Vuitton monogram. Nice and simple. We got the brown, we got the brown and the gold. Okay, I will probably be making a video on how to tell if a Louis Vuitton belt is real compared to like a, a fake one. The, the only problem with that video is there's so many fake ones that make so many different like adjustments to watch out for. Uh, but I know some of the main things to look out for in a real Louis Vuitton belt. So I might end up making that video so you guys can stay tuned for that. But this is the Louis Vuitton monogram, brown and gold. Really like this belt. I uh, honestly, uh, I think Virgil Abloh Abloh remade this belt and added the uh, the orange Louis Vuitton symbol, and that just is absolutely fire. But like I said, your boy is in a different time and place. We are not buying Louis Vuitton belts. Over the past few months, I've really contemplated trying to sell these belts on uh, StockX or just you know some local friend that I went to high school with or someone like that. They really are expensive items, so just be really careful if you're looking into getting them. If you're looking into maybe collecting them, like that's what I thought I wanted to do is collect belts and have all these different things but that is, they're so expensive they're so expensive that it's, it's really not realistic oh we got the three louis belts we got the three louis belts and we got the little coin pouch this is my louis vuitton collection right here but guys that is just a short little you know louis vuitton collection video that i wanted to make i want to make more videos like that just you know especially being locked in the house i want to start going out vlogging you know fishing doing all these different videos and vlogs but at the same time we are kind of on quarantine and we're locked in the house so i'm trying to you know brainstorm ideas upgrade my podcast start live streaming like i said check out my twitch link is in the description if you want to go check out my channel and check out my podcast it's called keeping it real you know i'm upgrading it i'm gonna start getting a uh, high quality mics better audio so if you guys want to stay tuned for that i really appreciate that guys if you like the louis vuitton collection so far you know maybe i'll start building the louis vuitton collection start adding some pieces like i said very 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 expensive so maybe i won't be doing that stuff but if you guys like my belts smash that like button check out my channel follow me on instagram check out my twitch guys stay safe stay healthy take it easy thank you